Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a quite windy, windy <laughs> Sunday, the 13th of August. Now, first time I talk to the camera, I'm getting tongue-tied. Um, it poured down rain last night, and it was even raining at, at 10 o'clock this morning. I mean, downpouring that soaker rain. And, um, anyway, it's been so windy and everything's so dry that, uh, everything just, whoop, dried right up. Look, it knocked a bunch of the flowers out of whatever the heck that thing is. This thing blooms about three times a year. It's the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Anyway, not knowing what the weather's going to do, we don't want to risk taking a mopickle. We're actually going to... Yesterday, she wanted to take the street glide for a ride, but um, we kind of got sidetracked. Yeah. <laughs> Took too long. Yeah. There's Abby roaming down the road. She's been up to no good here the last couple of days. Doing a lot of snooping around that Abby. She's walking down the road kind of sniffing along like she's up to something. Yeah, Madison doesn't play with her because Madison is like miserably pregnant. Yeah. And them puppies are coming any minute. Uh, she wanted to stay inside, but yeah, if she decides she wants out, she'd be like Leo. She'd take a wall down. Yep. She wants out. She's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll, Mama. This is the uh, bridge going over Lake Mayfield. Last time I took you guys down here, I turned back because uh, it was down to one lane. I was on the iron. That's yeah. That looks how beautiful. No, it's some kind of construction. You oh. can see it on the other side. So we stopped here at the Mossy Rock Dam to show you guys that, I mean, the water is still really low. Did you guys remember early this year when I took the white? GSA demo. And I went over, this is Rife Lake, but I was way down this end. And I went down that boat ramp. There's like no water in there. Amazing the size of this thing. It's like gigantuan. Here's a good look at Rife Lake. That water, when it's normal, it's, you don't see all them rocks. So I'd, I'd literally be probably waist deep in the water right now and when everything's normal. We can see the water line. Um, they're fish, fishing pole holders. See, they're using them down there. That's pretty risky, young lads. Look at all the driftwood stuff from when the water's been at this level. She's a long ways from that now. Yeah. Little Honda. Look how steep that hill is. Though. That, my dear, is the side of a mountain. Look how you can see the... That's what Kelly's dad did. He, they drill those holes and they slide the dynamite down there and they blast away the side of the hill. Crazy. Look, it's, it's Uncle Jesse from Dukes of Hazzard. <laughs> but we looking at different restaurants here and just decided to hit the old subway at the Chevron station. And I gotta tell you, that was very good. The little woman picked up the sandwich. Man, that Very thing was messy, good. good. She even ate all of hers. Been feeding the little birds. Little birds, you drop a little crumb down here and they run right up to you. <laughs> the very first time I came to Morton, I can't, I think it was my friend Dean and I, it might have been Kelly and I, that was freezing cold. Freezing cold. And I think I was on my XT500. Pretty sure it was Dean. I was on my XT500 and he was on his DT125. And I remember looking up at this mountain which I'm sure it's not showing up on film, I think is massive, gigantuan. But anyway, uh, the, the uh, fog layer was below the mountain. You had no idea how high it was. And there was a very distinct snow line. And I remember when I first moved up here, everybody talking about, you know, the snow line. And I didn't think they literally meant a snow line. You know, it's, it's just a term you use at, at what point you know, it turns from rain to snow, but there was literally a snow line where there was snow, and down okay, here right. was rain. 
Oh man, that was cold. That's a long drive from Longview out here to Morton. All right, there's a little late lunch break. You guys remember this was closed when I came down on the white GSA? God says the same thing due to low reservoir or scheduled maintenance. But look at the little teddy bears to my left behind, a little doggy. <laughs> All right, well, we can't go that way. See all those tree trunks out there? Those aren't from trees that were planted. Those are ones that literally came up here and floated to a stop out here. <clears throat> Callie and I used to come out here all the time, and this was always completely full of water. Yeah. You just assumed this was part of Rife Lake. Well, Mom, you can officially say your little Honda pick em up truck is going fur by fur. It did go fur by fur. But last time I was out here, see them Jersey Bears? Remember I drove way out there on the GSA and turned around? And now they got this whole thing locked off. It goes all the way back back there. I'll show you when we go Do out. Do not cross the line. But it's nice to see water out there. Yeah. That's beautiful. Very good. Zoom me in here and let you see a boat or two out there cruising about. Window? Or can you see? I'm actually looking out the front. Check this out. Look how the mountains are so tall. The clouds are, are running in the mountains. Touched by the clouds. That's that Jersey barrier. And they've actually set up like a parking lot where you see them trucks and stuff. That was just kind of a field like area where people were uh, parking for the paragliders. Cool stuff. And this, there's no, this is just free camping. There's no, uh, no charge to camp here, but there's no facilities either. There is one little restroom up there, but you can see these people are pretty well equipped to, uh, to survive in the wild. Yes. <laughs> oh no, we're That's stuck. So we're stuck in the marsh grass. There's no way out. We're lost forever. <laughs> <laughs> Man, is it beautiful out here. Holy moly. I love the light going across through the lower grass. Yeah. That's so it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, there you are. That is not birds, that's people. Wouldn't that be fun to provide off of that? Man, they must have a nice updraft because they're just hanging there. Just happy as you please. You can always tell where the water, water level was at some point. I've literally driven here and you couldn't drive through that loop that Callie and I just drove through a while ago. It was so high. Then earlier this year, remember it was all that land out there and you could actually see where before the dam, this used to be a river that snuck its way through here. That's still a long ways down. Yeah. Nothing like it was when I rode down here on the GSA. That was creepy. Oh, there's the gliders up there still. Around this corner is where we were at that campground. You can actually see some of the landmass over there. And that's where those gliders are going to land. I, I don't have the audio turned off, and I'm just whispering. It's not quiet this thing is, it's quiet outside. It makes no sound. The only time it makes a sound is if you get a little pebble in your tire after riding out in the gravel, it'll go click, click, click. There's no sound. It's running, I promise you. <laughs> We're heading down to that, that fish bridge because the um, bridge that I drive across all the time is closed. I don't know why, but uh, it's a $15 day use fee. And she goes, it's 6.30. I said, we're not gonna be down here probably more than five minutes. She goes, go ahead. <laughs> she goes, you're all right. I'm just gonna- The day's done, so yeah, yeah pretty much. It's gonna walk you out here on this fishing bridge so y'all can see what that's like. Hey, if that gate's closed, how's there somebody driving across it? Maybe it's a uh, worker. Yeah, it must be. 
But we went down, we were coming out of the other side, so we were talking about how everything's so quiet, including the truck. But uh, you get out and you park over there, but there's a sign saying we had to pay $5 for day use thing, so we came out. But anyway, from that parking lot, you can walk through this tunnel over to this side. There's the tunnel. Heading to the, well, let's just walk through here right quick. I told that guy we wouldn't be more than five minutes. Yeah. We've probably already been down here five minutes. <laughs> this thing looks old. But that's the, in fact, that's the post sticking up right there. It says it's a $15 day use fee to park here. God, you remember all the times you used to come out here and I'd take pictures? It's non-stop. Every time we get a new camera, we had to come to Rifle Lake. Take a new set of the same pictures. Ooh, look how silty the water is. Is that silt or is that an algae going on? That's weird. Wow, that's cool. You know, we live out in the country and we think it smells fresh. All you smell is just like cedar mixed with fur smell. Just amazing. Lots of crickets. Yeah. So this is looking from the other side. Let's go walk out on the bridge. Oh, by the way, we're at, we're at the very tip. That's the couch right there. It's the very end. Here's the Mossy Rock Dam. Cool stuff. Had yep, had lunch there. And the Mayfield Dam, I've taken you guys to that a few times before. And that, yeah. No, that bleeds into the Cowlitz Mayfield Dam right there. Last time I drove you guys across that bridge, it was a, not that that any small <laughs> any small yeah I I thought about the wood on this bridge and it's, I mean it's very strong but <laughs> but anyway it was a long ways down but this is the fishing bridge as they refer to it hey look at this I can point you out there the sun went behind a, a big cloud there Beautiful. There's the closed gate, by the way. So what went by, I think there's a little trail that comes up. And I think somebody drove from the other side, the other camp area on the other side, drove up and then took off down the road. It's probably a side-by-side -side or yeah. maybe it's one of the utility vehicles that the park rangers use. This is actually not a state park. We're asking about Discover Pass, and he goes, well, this is a privately owned, it's owned by, um, Tacoma yeah, Tacoma Power. So it's privately owned and ran. Well, little woman, at 10 to 7, should we call it a day and start heading back to the Hacienda? Yep, and it didn't rain on us. But it's like 60 degrees out here. It's been a little nippy going home. Yeah. <laughs> There's a look at us leaving the <laughs> the edge there. You guys curious? Is that funny? Yeah, I think you're funny. <laughs> That's where we were driving around. There's that crazy Jersey barrier that doesn't allow you to go out there anymore. If you can make any of that out. Oh, there's the gliders. They're all on the ground out there. You guys see that? They're on the deck. They had a safe. Everybody had a safe flight. Look how that looks like it's a hole that got blown out. You know, there in the trees. Oh yeah. From long ago or something. Maybe it was an active volcano at one point. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. These never things. know. The Great Metropolis of Morton, Washington. Look at all the all the bikers out here. 
That's why I pointed those Harley guys out here. That's a whole slew of BMWs right there. We actually watched them turn, turn in. We had to wait. Yeah, we had to wait for them to turn in front of us. And now we have to go up and over that mountain. There's the start of the highway that's going to take us up and over. That's just a part of it. it takes a right and goes really steep then. So we shot down here to the fish hatchery where I always take you guys on motorcycles. And I was trying to get here while the sun, the evening sun was on the spillway and I missed it. I mean, just missed it. The trees right there are hiding the sun off of it. I was telling Kelly how beautiful it is. And it's just this beautiful golden look to the water as it's going over. So all those times I've ridden you out here with GoPros and you can't see that thing. There she is. Isn't that wonderful? Look, huh? Look at all the fishermen all the way down. Yeah, there's a lot of fishermen out here. That's wicked cool. Well, Mama, we're not too terribly far from home. We got one little grocery store stop to make and I think that's gonna call it a day of severe <laughs> relaxation. <laughs> so beautiful out there. I'd show you Mount St. Helens, but she's covered in the clouds. That's where the threshing bee is going to be. Look, somebody out there mowing the field. I'm telling you, they'll make this thing look like a golf course out here. Look, they've taken the uh, RC airplane, uh, the little booth down that they have up. Mm -hmm. You remember I drove you by this gate on the iron? I said it looked like it's abandoned. But it'll be the entrance. This is where you come in and park. See, they've all they've cleaned that all off already. Yeah. Well, hey there, YouTube. We literally just just rolled in, jumped out of the car. <laughs> so we need to do it right now while there's still a tiny bit of light. Yeah, a bit of light. Plus, we have a whole bunch of footage. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm I'm not sure what all I filmed, but I it seemed like the camera was on most of the day. Yeah. So that's good. I hope you guys enjoy that. We're just a little goof off. Decided yeah. to go out to Rife Lake. I haven't. I've been out there few times that I haven't taken her out there in quite a while. Yeah, so in fact, nice. we turn on one road and she goes, where is this lead? And I'm like, that's <laughs> a Kelly. This goes in the right flight. Well, it's been a while. She goes, oh. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. Very relaxing. Temperatures were great. It was like low 60s over there. I think it's probably about 66, 65 here. It actually feels really, really good. She's been wearing that sweatshirt all day. Yeah, it's a whole lot cooler today. Yeah, so that's very pleasant. It'd feel very good. Slept great last night because, you know, the air is fresh and it's nice and cool. It cooled off real good. And hearing that rain is always soothing. Had the windows yeah. open hearing the rain. Don't want a bunch of this. Uh, it was nice it, it was after nice the nice long. Couple hours. That was good enough. Dusty hot spell. But uh, anyway, I got to fly. Uh, Battery's about to die oh, here, so yeah, we gotta go. We're gonna have to let y'all go. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow, same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and you guys have a wonderful Monday or Tuesday. Heck yeah, the creation is being absolutely wonderful so far. Yes, it is. Still sore from yesterday, but that's all right. Yeah, you know, you did something good, exactly. So, before this thing just shuts off all on its own. We better say goodbye. All right. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you bye, very, very everybody. much. Bye-bye now. Bye.